Hello, everybody. Who's all with me today? Going live real quick. Well, not quick. I'm going to attempt to put on these beautiful lashes today. Um, and also, I got in three of the new liquid shadows. And I have to say, they are really, really like taking the cream shadows in the in our little pots, taking these and putting them in a stick makes it so much easier to apply. No joke. Um, I put some on last night for date night and was amazed. Now, do me a favor. If you're hopping on, just say hi. If you see the red live up here, that means I am currently live. If not, just click replay or type in replay, okay? Um, and so I know you've been stopped by to say hey. I know a lot of us are stuck at home today due to weather. And um, uh, we ventured out this morning because I had a doctor's appointment and uh, it wasn't as bad this morning, but on the way back, um, yeah, it was 70 mile an hour. We were doing 40, 45 which is fine because it seemed like everybody was being good and minding the roads and not being stupid, you know, because you get a lot of stupid out there and that's why they're in the ditch. And in a 20 plus mile radius, we didn't see one single car off the road. Pretty good for this area. So, and I know we got a lot more snow coming today. Um, I got my glasses on for a minute because I need to be able to read <laughs> and I'm still a little dilated. So, um, makes it a little more difficult because I look like a kind of like a freak right now with my my irises being so big so again this is keep it cool this is one of our least you know thick crazy lengths of eyelashes and always remember with with lashes you can cut them shorter and I will be doing some you know moderations to them to make them fit the eye better okay but first I thought I have a little bit of shadow on, not shadow, mascara on today from going to the, being in public and a little bit of on my eyes, but I did not put a foundation on. And in my personal opinion, my skin looks pretty dang good for um, not having any form of foundation on. So, and I, you're all probably laughing, but I agree. I think it's just, it feels good. I did the, the new collagen, uh, collagen, the new age reverses night mask. I put it on for the first time last night. Very nice, dries perfectly. And so you don't have to worry about it going all over your, um, your bed sheets and your pillowcase. And this morning I still couldn't feel it. And I got my shower and, um, washed it off. And then, so well, when I got out of the shower, I did eye cream and I did the, um, serum and, uh, uh, moisturizer felt fantastic still feels really good and I have to say it can almost replace a primer um, using a serum you really it really can except I don't know if it fills in uh, the our little potholes in our face or not but um, but anyway I'm going to okay we've got three of the creams okay I didn't buy them all now I wish I would have got the blue but this one is Pop of Light. I thought that was pretty, right? Kind of a gold dust, light gold dust kind of effect. This one's scary, but um, I will try it. And this one is um, Perlina. Perlina, I have to look that up. And this one is Hawaiian Bronze. This is the one I put on last night. If you haven't noticed, I am a warm color person. I like warm colors. And um, a lot of people love their homes to be gray, black, and white. And that's sterile to me. I would rather, it's clean and neat, I get that, but I like warmth in my home. So anyway, so like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off. And like I said, I'm kind of a little bit, look at them irises, they're still too big. But um, this is the pop of light that I'm gonna use. And like I said, it's like using the pots of um, 
are cream shadows, right? Um, but it's in a tube. So it, that's what it reminded me of last night. I had it went on so fast and so smooth it was scary. So see what I mean? Just choo, choo. but uh I got these in the other day and I haven't been live in a while and I thought, well, let Jerry hang out in there and watch a show since we're both home today and then we can't really do anything with the weather, but see how subtle that is? Okay. Just super subtle. It's kind of like a nice frosty look. And um, I like this. It's really fantastic, guys. No joke. Goes on super smooth. Put on a lot or a little. Um, I've seen some uh, influencers that they have used um, hey, Cena. Hey, Miss Bethany. I'm sure you guys are getting the mess up north, too. Um, anyway, I taken, uh, last night I only wore one color and really liked it. And just put that on my lid. You know, maybe, it may be up my little bit, lid a little bit because it doesn't show. But again, cream shadow right there. Okay. So then I'll take, that was Pop of Light. Okay, like I said, it's like a shimmery cream color. Hi, Jenna. So um, I'm gonna use the warmth on here and the creams. Um, everybody's super excited about getting these in. And uh, I know I was because I like quick painless and get it done. Uh, you know, if I go to extremes in the morning, I'm late for work. Though another thing about pharmacies, creams. Hey, Kim. I know, right? That, that this is gorgeous. But it's called Pop of Light. But this is the bronze, the Hawaiian bronze. Just making sure it's not all over the place. I'm trying the bedroom with the light off for this to make it a little simpler. But anyway, I know we're all getting weather and it's ugly. Um, and I'll just say it as a lot of you know, me and Jerry, me and Jerry were stationed up in North Dakota for four years. That's when you come home with a new verbiage in your life called um, don't you know and you betcha. That's what you come home with. And it stays for a while with you. So anyway, um, so this really, I mean, going out this morning didn't affect us. Um, it really doesn't affect us um, unless it's like whiteout conditions. And so coming home, it got a little touchy but as long as you stayed in your lane and and everybody kind of just stayed behind each other it was perfect so you know our area here in illinois is getting its uh first really big um snow and i love snow don't get me wrong i love it the best if i don't have to get out in it um just because it's cold and I feel like the older you get, um, the more you <laughs> don't want to be cold. So, but anyway, pharmacy came out, pardon me, came out with all these amazing eye colors just recently. And their eyelashes. And the eye colors sold out in under an hour. And they had to order like 100,000 more units of this if I recall the message, the best. Um, I have to say I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. And it doesn't take much. As you saw, I wiped off almost all of it to get it on there. But um, some would take the white, put it over the top. Hey, Jill. Staying warm? I am. I'm home, finally. I don't know if I want to cover that up. I kind of like that frosty look. I think I'll leave it alone. Okay, 
So what I'm doing is I'm stalling because I need to try out these lashes, okay? And as you can see, I have a very quick dose of mascara on today um, for that particular visit, you know, and then they dilate you, so you're just kind of off. But um, I want to give these a whirl. Um, keep it cool. These are magnificent, as you can see the difference in the amount and how they're separated more on the top. If you like me and you wear glasses, um, okay, she popped this out so easy. Um, okay. You can shorten these, all right? You can take these, look how flexible they are, okay? And you can bend them at your will. They feel fantastic. And they're already kind of sticky. But I think that's to hold them on to the thing. So um, I did follow a tutorial on putting on fake lashes. And like I said, again, I am terrible at it. And I forgot to fit it to my eye. But uh, how many of you are stuck at home today with the weather and um, it's just, I mean, it's just not recommended to go out today, um, even to build a snowman. When it gets below where it's at now, you're talking frostbite in minutes. Um, if you're not protected, I just need to make sure this isn't going to be too big. And I did the right eye. Okay, right eye. Yeah. Did you know that? You got to make sure you got the eyes right. And the key is here center and then tack it into place. Oh, well, hopefully the roads are clear by the time he pops through here, put through there. Um, they're usually pretty good with Godfrey Road, aren't they? I mean, at least when I go through there, I've never had an issue. Yep, gonna shorten these a little bit. So you just take your trusty scissors. Yeah, I already tacked them. But, um, but anyway, they've introduced um, eyelashes at the request of influencers who love them. And they're, they're a personal choice, I think. Um, fake lashes are. They are a personal choice. And I'm not... I watched my upline, holy crap. I watched my upline put these on the other day and see, yes, you would, <laughs> you would shrink these. I will definitely be cutting these because I wear glasses. And that's another cool part about these. You can't, oh. You can cut these to fit. So, anyway, so, um, <laughs> these are definitely for a night out, not for every day. And it's still too long. I got to shorten it some more. And the key to taking them off after you've worn them all day, mind you, is to put a little bit of makeup remover on a, a Q-tip and run it over the, the base of the artificial lash. And um, it'll slide it off easier instead of destroying your, your I almost said it, nail. Um, instead of destroying your... Um, your own personal eyelashes, because you could pull them out, you know, in the process of trying to put these on. I need to make sure I'm centered on that. But uh, anyway, um, I've basically been putting it off doing this. Um, I should have um, recruited my daughter, but she's got her own lashes. She's good. Um, but... Uh,
The house is noisy today. It's great. Kids are here. They're having fun video gaming it today. Yeah, this is this is not I'll say it. It's not simple. But I got it on. But they would definitely have to be shorter. I might have cut that one just a hair too short. And also, guys, you want to... Who just pops? No school for Alton tomorrow. Neither Southwestern either. They're out tomorrow already. Between the snow and the wind chills, I get it. Um, too many kids have to wait at bus stops. And that's never good. It has to happen, but it's never good. Because, believe it or not, it's not the parent. It's the child being willing to... See, I, I just totally messed that up. Um, it's hard to convince children to keep their dang coats on or their hats on. Yep, the, the kids either. It's kind of wild without any remote learning tomorrow. But, uh, um, when we lived up north, we had one child that, um, you know, <clears throat> hats were, hats were dorky. Hats were just no. You know, I don't want to wear a hat. I look stupid in a hat. You know, why would I want to button my coat? Nobody else's. And they wound up with frostbite on their ears. And I had to take the person into the hospital with blisters. Mind you, he they left the house completely covered. Hat, gloves, coat, you name it. They had it on. And guys, temperatures outside today will freeze you. Um, no joke. Um, up north, you got to where you, you knew exactly when um, we went below zero because you could walk outside and your nose hairs would freeze. Okay, they would freeze. Um, and, or you could hear the air snap, which believe it or not, it's a real thing. You can actually hear um, the cold in the air. You can just hear it snap. So anyway, um, I had to take, take that person in to the hospital. Wasn't sure that the top of the ear was going to have to come off or what, you know, um, what they would say about it. Mind you, you know you can get these amazing tools to do this. But again, I'm terrible at this. Um, next try will be good. Um, we'll go ahead and try the other one, see if I can get that one on nice. That one's terrible. Um, anyway, uh, so they treat him, no, you're not going to lose your ear. You know, I wanted to, him to tell me he was going to lose his ear, though, but they didn't. They treated it and uh, gave him one heck of a lecture about not covering up, especially your ears. You know what I mean? The ears are, see, these are wanting to stick on their own, so I don't need to keep them on today. I just want to show them. But put the tacky glue on, Okay. All these women that can do this without even a... so instructed by the doctor, I went into his classroom and told the teacher he needed to get up in front of the class. He had something to tell people, and this was per per the doctor's orders. And they had to let the class know this is why you wear the proper gear when it's below zero outside or the wind chill is below zero. Even in the teens, this is the proper wear. This is why you should wear it. Nobody else is looking cool either. And they were lucky they, that one's better. They were lucky they did not lose um, the top of their ear. Blistered, it blistered. It was like a really bad freezer burn. 
But what had happened was their bus had broke down. For some stupid reason, they had to get off the bus. I don't know why, but they had to get off the bus. And per getting off that bus, he didn't put his hat back on. He didn't want it back on. So, boom, they had to stand outside for a little bit. Hey, Tara, they had to stand outside for a little bit just to wait. I'm not sure why they couldn't stay on the bus. I don't remember. But it wasn't right. They should have been allowed back on the bus or to sit on that bus until um, the new bus came along to pick them up. But uh, he still didn't cover his ears. That's the whole point. The ears were uncovered and... Typical kid, they blame the parents, parents' fault. You know, parents didn't make me. Parents didn't do this. And actually, yeah, it was right there in your backpack. You had it with you <laughs> the whole time. So it is it is super important, guys, to make sure your children are bundled in this weather. I don't care if they're going to be outside for two minutes. Bundle them in this weather. Um, it's, not, it's not good to not be bundled. But as I was telling everybody, I'm going over some cream shadows that um, I got in and I was really excited about them because they are um, the pot cream shadows are my favorite of all the shadows mind you I love my glam up palette I love my um, I'm just putting a little liner to kind of normally you do that first but I didn't think about it But uh, one day I'll sit here and do this without talking to y'all and, and uh, get them on right. Because this one's terrible. So we got in new cream shadows and we got in um, our um, eyelashes. And mind you, they do, they're so lightweight. I don't really notice that they're on. Except when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm watching one pop off. Um, so anyway, so, um, they came out with those. There was something else. We got a new acne, acne line that really changes how I look right there, doesn't it? Mm. But they're so long. Look at that. All right. Really long. I can feel them on the top of my eyelid. Oh, actually almost my eyebrow. So... Anyway, they got all of these in, and we got a new acne line in, and we got in um, uh, aqua line for moisture. Um, so anyway, uh, that's about it. Um, I really need to get on here and, and talk about some other things. I need to come on more prepared. But I just thought, you know what, what the heck, I'll just pop on here and see how everybody's doing today. See, that one went on really good. This one, nope, it's wanting to pop off. So um, I can share a tutorial on these. If, if there's those out there that would love to try artificial lashes. And again, I will be cutting these because I do wear glasses every day. And wearing these would be... Ugh, impossible. But again, hey, Court, I'd go back and watch because um, I'm a dork when it comes to putting on fake, fake eyelashes. But anyway, they this is the let it cool, um, let it keep it cool. And then I also have Magnificent right here. Super flexible. Um, I'm Once I take these off, I'll trim them down um, and... Um, show y'all how they actually work. But anyway, I could do a tutorial on it. But once you get them on and you finish your makeup, or not finish your makeup, get them on, get them in place, and they're set, then you're going to go back with your mascara and you're going to um, kind of push up your eyelashes into those. It kind of stabilizes the artificial um, lash, okay? And guys, these run... I think up to about 15, uh, 
15 or $16, I think, a set. Um, it depends on which ones, because like I said, some of them are super long. I'm just going to have to take that one off and do it over. Um, anyway, um, yeah, you know, life is good. I lost my train of thought, as usual. Um, for Valentine's Day, hubby got me a makeup table. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I was using a computer desk, and it would go okay, but I got to quit trying to look in the phone and do this. But uh, he asked me, you know, what I wanted. And that was probably the first thing that popped into my head was a desk for doing this. But the one I really want um, will not fit in our bedroom. And that's where I really want to work because <laughs> look at me. Um, oh, better. Um, yeah, the space is too small that I have available in the bedroom where I really want the the more, um, the bigger one with all the storage. Um, so, uh, this one's going to work out great. And as you can see, I did get that one placed a little better. I don't know about some of you guys, but if you fight arthritis in your fingers or your thumb or anything, they make amazing gloves for that. Okay. So, I don't even have a funny story to tell today. Oh, except that the eyelash or the eyeglass place while I was looking at new eyeglasses, she sat mine down and my glasses and we couldn't find them. We could not find my eyeglasses. It was hilarious. Um and all I'm thinking is, is I can't leave here without my glasses. I got to have they, I got to have them to see. I mean, I have clientele that would not be happy if I walked in without, or if I tried to cut their hair without my glasses on. Oh, much better. So anyway, those are Keep It Cool. As you can see, they're very, very um, subtle. Mind you, up close and personal, they look huge. But again, I can cut them. But there, that's how deep they are. But I had to cut off quite a bit, um, so it, it'll fit big eye to little eye because you just size it to make it fit. And ours are, I'm trying to remember if they are mink or they're, uh, there's two different kinds. There's a mink one and another one, and I'll have to put my glasses on and look um, for that. They currently do not have a glue for them. Uh, they're working on that. And uh, so eventually they will have a glue out. Um, but again, I lost my train of thought again, but, um, cream shadows, amazing cream shadows, bend the lashes first in between your fingers, get them in. I'll stab myself in the eye, Courtney, if I try and use a tweezer, um, with my vision, the way it rolls, um, yeah, it would be definitely be a lot easier than my finger, um, but they they were super flexible. Uh, there was no tip. There was no stiffness to them. They were really flexible. Uh, but now I can tell I got it on. I can feel it that I've got it on. But you know, guys, some people love to wear these every day. I know our mega upline. She doesn't go without them. Um, me, this would be something great for a date night, or if I'm doing working on photos instead of praying my eyelashes turn out okay. But yeah, I, I will tomorrow. I got a feeling tomorrow's going to go to crap uh, with the weather, so I'll have time tomorrow to mess. Um, I need to make some videos and stuff tomorrow on uh, some of the products. But today was all about the cream shadows, 
And mind you, there's a lot more of these. There's um, blues and um, other colors. They come in a little box like this. Um, I've got a picture of it of all the different shades that you can see. And they're, they all have a name, of course. And I'm gonna like this because I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them, sit them right back on this little thing and they sit right in this thing. And I can put them right in here and they'll be stored till I'm gonna put them on again. I know what else. These lashes you can wear, they said six to eight times, I'm gonna say six to eight times. Um, you can wear these. Uh, before their toast. I'm getting a call from somewhere in Illinois. Um, been a lot of robocalls today. Me and Jerry got one at the exact same time today. But yeah, I'll try the tweezer thing, that's for sure. Um, so anyway, um, what else? We got the aqua line, we got the acne line. I don't own any of those, but have heard great reviews from those who have received them. And if you're waiting on orders, the mailing's getting a little better since Christmas. Um, they'll get them mailed off in a timely manner, but they sit, okay? And if you order from me and you order through your own, you know, you make your customer account, just log in and click on personal menu and go to orders and it'll show you your orders. Um, if it's been more than seven days, just click. It'll take you down to three months back, okay? Scroll over, and there's a tracking number, all right? So, anyway, I've lost y'all. I'm uh, I'm uh, babbling, but um, I was real quick. If you fight arthritis in your thumb, I went this week, and they gave me this amazing, nice and easy uh, brace for my thumb. I can do everything with it but it keeps that joint in one spot, which is important because I have, according to the x-ray, severe something arthritis, so in the thumb. But, you know, such as, such as being a brewer. Um, but other than that, I hope all is staying warm and I'll get on here tomorrow and maybe do a funky look or something. And um, uh, today's not a good day as I am. I'm still a little dilated from my eye appointment. So be good. Take it easy. And I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.